What if a nursing college cared for its students the same way nurses cared for their patients? What if the focus was on keeping students in, not weeding them out? What would happen? Something extraordinary. Join us, and together we can make a difference. Chamberlain University College of Nursing. Extraordinary care, extraordinary nurses. Attend an open house at Chamberlain's Jacksonville campus, Tuesday, August 7th, anytime between 3.30 and 5.30 p.m. Register now at chamberlain.edu. Peace Radio, you're listening live or you listen to the archive. I am your host. I am Dr. Renee Sunday, and I am the platform builder. You know, I just want to let you know that we love you. We love you. We love you. Thank you so much for supporting us and the things that we do. Whenever we do some marketing and promoting, you always stand behind us. So we thank you for just, one, just believing in us. I mean, that takes a whole lot. But we just thank you, thank you, thank you for that. You know, we just totally enjoy the things that we do, and we just thank you again for we're still number 57. I told my <laughs> – I like it. I like it, though. Still, uh, the United States um, downloads for iTunes in regards to the podcast in the United States. Now, go over there and look. Check us out. Download us. I mean, it's so many podcasts. I mean, they own everything from sewing. I mean, I'm not kidding. They t- – they actually teach you, you know, it's via audio, of course, that they give you hits and tools about sewing. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> but everything you can imagine, uh, I'm actually, you know, I love being part of Amazon, everybody else, right, as a customer and also as being, you know, part of their the team that actually bring content to them. And we'll tell you more about that. we got a lot of some juicy stuff coming up about that. But you know what? I can't release it, okay? But I will. <laughs> Probably, I don't know, maybe the end of this week, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But we're very privileged for that. But, you know, let's get to our question, our question of the day. We actually have, and my team say, uh, I guess in queue, but uh, they say hit star one. I think they said that's you right there, but uh uh-huh. But, yeah, it's all one for our guest that's going to be here with us today, to Renee. But this is a heavy one because my team, you know, they handed to me just not right. (laughs) Hallelujah. But anyway, um, it's kind of they texted to me, and uh, it's kind of deep. But the question of the day or the session this for for me is, Dr. Sunday, what do you do? When things go haywire, now they said another word, but I'm going to just use the word haywire. When things don't go right to plan, when things are in a disarray, when things just look kind of funny, okay? Well, honestly, it's three things that I do. And, you know, I always say things in three. That's a, that's the minister in me, I guess. <laughs> but uh, and then when I when I speak, it's usually three, five, or seven, one of the two. But anyway, uh, anyway. Uh, the three things is first of all, you know my faith is in God, so I have to I have I have to go to God quickly. And the reason I say quickly, uh, because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to seek Him first, but you have to do that quickly because if you don't, guess what? A lot of other stuff gonna come in your mind that's of the flesh, and you know what I mean, of the flesh. So we don't so be thinking about, okay? Because I've learned in this journey. Um, that you actually do not need to respond to a thing all the time. You do. I know you are everybody. Everybody has went to see or have seen it, the War Room movie. That really happens in real life. That's based on a, a, a true story, as, by the way. But that happens a lot. And a lot of our grandmothers and our mothers and then even the children goes down that we actually go to God. You know, we have to do that because he'll give you direction. He'll give you the way, the way you need to go. And, and with that, after you spend that time, you still need to really continue to pray. As the scripture says, pray, what it said, without ceasing. That's what it said, right? <laughs> so you have to pray. Meditation is very important. Uh, me personally, it's part of my daily routine in the mornings. It sets the tone of my day. Uh, you know I do the command, your morning uh, prayer that's usually on Facebook and also on um, Periscope. And then, you know, it's on YouTube as well. But we've got to realize that we actually need to, it, first of all, it's not about us, number one. And we cannot handle everything ourselves. Okay, it's okay to to talk to somebody else that you can trust, right? And you're in a circle. And then, of course, it's all 
So me being in the medical field, to talk to a medical provider. And that may be your primary care doctor. That may be, you know, your dentist, okay? <laughs> and then, of course, the psychologist or psychiatrist, okay, as well, right? But um, that's prayer. And then I have to... I have to fast to keep myself on the subjection, right? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, your mind can, like I said earlier, can go to the left. Amen? So we actually have to keep ourselves on the submission. We have to uh, to make sure that we're saying, guess what, the right things, right? That's what we have to do. And I'm getting a text. Of, it, it's, um, they don't recognize your number. So uh, if I guess it's on star one, star one, please, so we can bring you on in. But what we're going to do just real quickly, just to kind of make sure things are in place, uh, we're going to play a quick little song here. And uh, you know it's one of my favorite because, you know, <laughs> and I know them actually uh, on personal a little bit as well. But we actually have to make sure that we don't just play just a little bit of it and then we're going to actually get into the amazing. We have Mr. You know, the amazing, you know, people love to talk about money, but we need to make sure our money is right in every area. And I'm going to say amen after that. But we actually have the amazing James Hunt with us. He actually is the credit guru, you hear me, of Atlanta. And I'm going to go on and say international because he is changing people's lives, getting people credit right, and so we can actually move on in our purpose in life. So we're going to take this quick, quick break. And listen to this song just real briefly, and then, you know, we're going to get into it because we need to make sure we know what we need to do to be able to move forward in life. You know, this is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. Tomorrow, because he lives. 
This is John Schamberger, founder and CEO of Millionaires of Trainings Only Only. We are proud to support and listen to Good Deeds Live every Mondays and Thursday at 530 Eastern Standard Time. With your host, the platform builder, Dr. Nay Sunday. So remember, wherever your mind can conceive and believe in your purpose, it can achieve. And don't stop. Get it, get it. Yes, yes, that's what you got to do. You got to don't stop, what, and get it, get it, right? I am your host. I am Dr. Renee Sunday. I love it. That I had to play that song all the way through because she is amazing. When she goes up to that next key, okay, amen. But if you want to know, that's it's Naomi B. All her information is on our website and also on, on all of our social media so you can actually get her information and download it. You know what I mean by download. That means you have hit the what? the purchase button. Amen. <laughs> and also at that, that drop at the end was Mr. John Schamberger for Millionaires and Trainers Only is Only. Only. They have a great platform, a radio show. They have amazing things that they're doing from events, but empowering you to guess what? Be a millionaire. And all of us can relate to that. Millionaire, billionaire. But guess what? We got the information we got to tap into today on this broadcast. Right? We have the amazing Mr. John Hunt. He's a credit guru, as I said earlier, of Atlanta. James Hunt helps many of the nation's biggest A-list celebrities, athletes, mega church pastors, and business men and women to address, guess what, credit issues, eliminate debt, church pastors, and business men. Guess what? We need to make sure that we're what? We're managing our wealth and staying financially healthy. All that go together, right? He is currently in negotiation, we can say this here on Good Deeds, to become, guess what, the official credit advisor to the NBA. And you know that would help at least 472 players with their credit, right? And for the 28-19 season, right? And we're going to we gonna say it here on Good Deeds for a long time contract, right? Also, he also is partnered with uh, Pastor Clef O'Dollar, World Changer International Church, uh, which you know is my pastor, uh, to to educate you on credit and finances. Connecting, you got to connect with him because he he got to get your credit right, right? All of us got to say ouch and just keep going, right? But he also going to show you how to money management strategies that lay a foundation in what? Generational wealth. And that's what we have to do. But we have to start where we are. And we want to welcome, welcome none other than the amazing, the phenomenal himself, Mr. James Hunt. Are you there? I am. I am. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Ooh, I'm just so excited. You know, when we put up the information from your amazing team that you're going to be here, so many questions came out. I said to myself, I'm going to have to reach out to your team that you can come back and come back and come back. But welcome to Good Deeds. Yes, ma'am. I am happy to be here. Thank you. Well, do this for us because, of course, I only tip the iceberg of the amazing things that you're doing. So tell us a little bit more about yourself. And then if it's okay, we're going to dive into some of the questions that were sent in actually with great foundational things that we can continue this conversation. Well, um, so I, my job is I'm, I'm sort of like known as the credit guru of Atlanta, um, and I handle um, all of the credit issues for all of my clients. Um, I, I, I often talk about the, uh, all of the different celebrity clients, but I also have like a host of, of regular clients uh, who are not celebrities. But, um, yeah, I have a lot of the NBA and NFL and – um, some of just about everybody in the music industry and film and TV and everybody from Jamie Foxx to Usher to um, Tyler Perry to everybody. I handle all of the issues. Wow, that's amazing. But let's start, and, and you know how they say we're going to bring in sports, you know, mostly like that, baseball, or even in all the NFL. We have to start in the beginning. When they blow the whistle, let's start. Some of the questions that were sent in, if, if, if it's okay for you to address this, some of the people want to know, what does it really mean when we say a credit score? Because, you know, everybody 
is saying we need that for everything now, especially even when you get mm-hmm. insurance, they look at that. When you get health insurance, they look at that. But what's a little, a, a simple definition that we can just, to make sure, because we have to make sure everybody's on the same plane field in order for us to be able to move forward? I think that's a very good question. And a credit score is basically a three-digit number that tells all creditors what your risk factor is. And so the higher your credit score, the lower the risk factor. The lower of your credit score, the higher risk factor you are to creditors. And they make that determination based upon your credit score or your risk factor number on whether they give you or offer you credit or whether they approve applications that you submit in for credit. Wow. See, that's powerful. And, and and now in this season, with everything's going on in the world, we're gonna relate everything kind of, you know, back in the day it was it was <laughs> it was it was different because I I'll be honest, I you know my my you guys know I'm very transparent, but even with me moving to Atlanta and being a physician, I, they they check my credit, but they didn't go all deep into stuff. But I from what I hear now, people that. Uh, you know, even getting an apartment, even trying to get a home, it's a whole lot of love, babe. And, and can you speak on that? And I understand we know maybe the simple reason that, you know, of course, times are different. But what has, with the economy doing this thing, how should we actually come to you for sure to get our credit straight and whatever advice you can give us financially? But what you think kind of happened that we actually have to, you know, go through a lot of, information before they can actually say yes or even say no. Yeah. So creditors uh, are becoming uh, white days, and and creditors have, over the years, have lost a lot of money by making wrong decisions concerning uh, certain tenants and concerning other consumers with uh, extending them credit, and they have been left holding the bag financially uh, as a lot of people default on their credit. And so these days, creditors are uh, becoming aware of all of the different systems that are available to actually give an evaluation of a consumer's uh, ability to pay them back if they apply for a loan and what, what their history is in paying other creditors that they already have. And so that credit score becomes a major issue with them in determining whether to get it. And so beforehand, you could just simply rent an apartment. If there was no eviction under under your name, you could just almost be a shoe in for the apartment. Now they want to know not just uh, can you pay the rent, but do you always pay your rent on time? And so the the creditors are now paying into these um, systems that uh, that checks all reports and 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 make sure that this is the kind of tenant that they want to have in, in their building. Yeah, I can understand. I, I truly can can understand that, mm-hmm. even in the businesses that I have. But, but uh, Mr. Hunt, help us, because we're going in a flow just amazingly. Uh, and the last thing you say in regards of the one of the umbrellas or one of the arms that you deal with is credit repair. And let's start mm-hmm. real basic on that, if you will. Tell us exactly what that is actually mean and I know of course it can be different you know depending on where someone's starting but what's just like a general sense so we'll know what really because you, you see it everywhere but we need to make sure and know exactly what we actually come to the table with yeah so the, the, the first the title of credit repair can sort of like have a bad um, a, a bad taste in some people's mouth because people think that sometimes it is a scam and, and certain people can use it the wrong way. But what a credit repair, a good credit repair company does is they are aware of the rights of consumers as it relates to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and which is the law that governs credit reporting agencies and creditors. And what they do and what we do is we understand what the law says that creditors and credit reporting agencies can do as it relates to you. And if there is something in your credit report, the law says that if there is something negative in your credit report, the law says that the creditor and or the credit reporting agency has the burden of proof 
and they have to be able to prove that that account actually belongs to you. And if there is any discrepancy in it, the way it's being listed, the dollar amount or anything else, then you can successfully challenge it and get that out of the credit report. And what most people are not aware of is just about 90% of the negative items in your credit report, if you hired a professional or if you actually did your own research, you could challenge and get out of your credit report. So there is no reason to live seven years with bad debt uh, if you don't have to, and you certainly don't have to because you can actually challenge whatever's in your credit report and get those uh, items removed out of the credit report. Yes, that's so important. But what I really like what you said was, first you said a good credit repair, but then number two, <laughs> uh, mm. we don't know the language. I mean, let's be real, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about mm-hmm. even when we file our taxes. You hire a professional mm-hmm. to do that because, to be honest, especially with all the things that I do, <laughs> I, I don't know the language. So you have to hire people that that's their language. And even let's go to the medical field. You know, I tell people that we as an anesthesiologist, because I'm an anesthesiologist as well, we make things look mm. easy, but let me let you know that I was trained, okay? <laughs> oh. But let's bring it into this conversation with Mr. Hunt. The things that he offered in regards to credit repair, and we will also get into the generational wealth aspect of what he offers in his amazing company, he and his team know the information. They are expert in this, and they actually will come to the table and take care of things that we're not aware of. Just like uh, Mr. Hunt said, we're not aware, and and, and we know. Let's yeah. bring the word in. We're gonna, we, you know, we got to have the information. We're parents, but we'll talk about that because the thing is, I think as you said, and I think you do that so wonderfully when you out in the community. Unfortunate, we have a negative sense about the credit repair. I mean, are we having conversations, which I, I know we probably, yes, of how we can actually really help people that have a concern and, and not just continue to have that myth of having it as being negative? Yeah, so I think that, I think that consumers have to be, like, really wise with whom they actually choose to um, – uh, provide services for them with their credit repair, and that means that you should do uh, check them, and uh, hopefully it will be a referral of, from someone else, family member or friend or coworker that is at, done by that company, and so that you can actually get a better reference of them and what they provide. But I know that credit repair companies actually provide a an extremely valuable service because they are able to actually go into your credit report line by line, trade line by trade line, and and challenge all of the different things that are uh, listed in your credit report. Um, the, the credit reporting agency, CBS did a, a report recently that said that uh, on 60 Minutes that about 70 to 80% of the consumers in America uh, have all sorts of negative items in their credit report or inaccurate items in their credit report, and that if it was challenged, that 70% of the debt that they have in their credit reports could be removed, not necessarily just because the consumer is not responsible for it, but because the consum- the creditor cannot prove that the consumer is responsible. And the burden of proof, according to the law, is on the creditor and the credit reporting agencies that are reporting the debt. Mm, that is so powerful. But let, let's let's uh, go to the left a little bit to, uh, with that mm-hmm. when you were saying that. Um, how often, and we see the, the infomercials on television, how often should we check our credit report? Because some people – I've heard people say they just check it when they're about to do a purchase they, or somebody said negative, it's happened again. How often should we just be in on top of things as a consumer or just really being a, a citizen of the United States, okay, that we should actually check our, our credit reports? And then I, not to put you on a name here, but it, it, do you – you know, because you see so many things out there with the monitoring system. Is that, do you, in your opinion, um, do you think the monitoring systems are are, are good? Because you know, of course, and, and you know, when some of the uh, breaches came about, that's what people suggested for a year that you should have a monitoring type of system for your credit. 
Yes, and that is a fantastic question because I think that um, one of the best tools that you have available as a consumer is to actually sign up for uh, a monitoring system with uh, there are literally there are literally thousands, um, tens of thousands of different uh, companies that are available to you. But what it does, and and to your question. A a consumer should check his credit report as often as he feels necessary, but my my rule is probably about twice a month uh, because you want to be aware of whatever's going on in your credit report. These days, uh, the monitoring systems and and the different companies that that have them have all kinds of systems where you can download the apps onto your smartphones. And any time that there's new activity in your credit report, you get an alert, and that alert will alert you on your phone. It'll let you know that there's some new activity that is going on, if your score has changed and all of that, and you should be aware of anything that goes on within your credit report. Your financial life is depends upon it, and if there is anything that is going on without your knowledge, you have to be able to uh, be aware of it and to be on top of your credit so that if it, if it does happen, you can actually stop it in its tracks. Mm, that is powerful. I like that. Mm-hmm. We get some great information, and then, of course, it's very soon here. We're going to give out how to get in touch with. I know, listen, Dave Hunt, I know you're <laughs> on the end of your seat wanting this contact information. But I want you to, 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 to try to, because I know this is a, a conversation that can take a long time. Um, our millennials mm-hmm. and you know the people in my generation, you know that you know that forty five to fifty, and then the you know the seasoned people. What can we do as just as uh, you know, just especially as believers? Uh, how can we help each other in regards of you know trying to make better decisions of that purchase and having that that purchase power that we have to actually so we can do what you want us to do in regards of generational wealth. I mean, I think a lot of conversation still needs to be there because I, so many people, like like we go to our, the restaurant, we go to one window and make a order. The second window we pay, and sometimes they give us the food at that window or the other window. And people have extrapolated that, unfortunate, to everything they do. So what type of conversation that we, I mean, I know it's all around the world people are trying to tackle this by educating our youth and educating, re-educating some of the adults in regards of having, you know, getting them credit repaired and, and being able to move forward in our purpose, but I also have generational wealth. Yes, yes. So what I love about your pastor and, and what I love about World Changes is is that uh, the vision of of Chris Dollar is to educate uh, the youth and to make sure that this new generation does not have the excuse of saying that we were not taught and as it relates to credit and as it relates to building their finances and so that they don't make the same pitfalls that we have made. And I, in my generation, I can say that my parents did not teach me uh, concerning credit, and they were not aware of of credit, and they were not savvy when it came to credit. But I think that this generation has to, like, make themselves aware of it, uh, even uh, for the older people and the middle-aged people in this generation. We live in an age where basically all information is available to you at your fingertips, where you can actually Google information and you can educate yourself concerning your finances, concerning how you pay your bills, and and understanding that you have to pay your bills every month on time. There is no late payment. You can lose up to 75 points off of your credit score for just one late payment. And so there are just too many pitfalls that you can um, fall into by not managing or failing to properly manage your credit and to manage your finances. But you have to also understand that the whole world opens to you uh, when your credit is is together. I could go through a whole list of names that uh, your listeners would just like fall over their seat to realize that some of the celebrity clients who make millions, tens of millions of dollars, I have uh, someone uh, currently, uh, a, a power couple in Atlanta, 
can't buy a house living in an Airbnb but make millions of dollars because their credit issues and they can't purchase a home. And it is just tragic because no one educated them. And because no one educated them, all of their money outside of purchasing the house themselves in cash, they, they, it, it will be the only way that they can actually get into a house. And so it doesn't matter how much money you have, everybody has to live under the same rules that if your credit score is good, then you can get what you want. If your credit score is bad, then you can't get it. And it doesn't matter how much money you have. Yeah, I totally agree. Wow. Well, we, ladies and gentlemen, what we need to do is contact <laughs> Dave Hunt. But, I mean, just really the credit repair aspect, but also just the great strategies that his team actually does in regards of getting us in that generational wealth uh, capacity. Mm-hmm. If you've got to change your mind with that. But, but, you know, Mr. Hunt, things go so quickly here, and we told it, like I told your team before, I knew you was going to give us great information that we can take from. Please mm-hmm. address anything that we may have not touched on that you wanted to address. And then please tell us how we can contact you uh, for, for mm-hmm. services or anything that you want to support you. You in and and even social media and of course your website. Okay, so I am happy to. So um, I think that the, the one thing that I wanted to let the uh, audience know, your listeners know, is that no matter what your financial status is, no matter what your credit score is right now, you do not have to live with uh, bad credit, and that there are things that you can do to actually straighten out your issues and to get on top of your issues uh, uh, financially so that you can actually have a much better uh, credit score and that there are strategies in which to build your credit score. And so most people are not aware, and most people just uh, go through life where we'll just do a certain thing and I'll get this and I'll get that and I'll eventually build my credit. But for those who are aware and uh, uh, who have knowledge of credit and how credit works, there are strategies attached where I can actually show you how to take your score up about maybe 100, 150 points in about a 90-day window, window period of time. And so there are strategies in which to build that credit and to get that credit up so that that dream house, that dream car, that business that you're trying to start, it is all available to you, but you have to have a strategy and you have to have someone that can actually guide you and tell you what moves to make and help you assist you with whatever issues that you have in your credit report to address those issues and then learn to actually, because I think that if you don't learn to actually change the habits, then you can find yourself in the same problem six months from now. And so it can be straightened out, but if you don't address the issues of overspending and trying to live beyond your means, then, then you're, you're really not straightening out the problem. So we will give you all of that. My number is uh, area code 404-998-2516. I can be reached um, at that number, uh, 9 to 5, uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, my website is um, creditguru.com. And um, my email is James W. Hunt, 1963 at gmail.com. And you can uh, look me up on um, Instagram at who is James Hunt. I love it. I like that. I, <laughs> I like that. I got it <laughs> Go ahead, team. I'm mm-hmm. doing the branding. I love it. Well, first of all, Mr. James Hunt, we thank you so much for being in your purpose because this, this is just amazing mm-hmm. that you're in the right place. We can tell the passion and the, and the amazing excitement you have to want to help people, and we appreciate that. But thank you so much also for being taking time out your busy schedule to be a guest here at Good Deeds. If you need us for anything, please, please don't hesitate to contact us. Yes, ma'am. And call me anytime you need me. Yes, yes, we will. We will connect with your team. <laughs> I love it. They got right. You guys really are on the ball, and I appreciate that. But thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I know, I know you ready for the, the, okay, wait, we'll get the replay out so you can go back because this is so, a lot of information, and we need to take, go back and take notes. 
and that we can actually, be, you know, reach out to Mr. James Hunt, his team, and they actually, you know, local here in Atlanta. But, you know, they, you don't have to be here in Atlanta. They can still actually offer the services for you, and we can contact them. Um, we can give you the information. You can contact them that, so they can actually give you that personal touch. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to get this stuff right so we can actually walk in our purpose. Amen? Yes, yes, and yes, right? You know, here at Good Deeds, we love you guys so much. If you want to be a guest here on the radio, you let us know. If you want to have your own radio show or just do your own segment, we have that available. I am a media coach. I'm a purpose coach and also a life coach. You know, we got to get that life stuff together before we can actually move forward, right? And you know my, my tagline is be seen, be heard, and get paid. You know, we got to do that, right? I know we have to do it, okay? <laughs> but if you want any of those things, and also we have a television show as well, we have a publishing company and a nonprofit organization, all of that information, of even advertising, promoting with us, uh, you know, Bishop Jake's been on our magazine, and yeah, actually we had to order a whole bunch of more copies of that. So uh, you can actually get into that, um, get the magazine. You can put an article in there. You can put advertising in there. They're very reasonable prices. And the website is www.reneesundaysunday.com. Again, it's www.reneesunday.com. Renee, R-E-N-E-E, Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-Y dot com. But please, please always remember, you do have a calling. You do have a reason you were born. You're not a mistake. You got to do the three things. You got to believe, you got to trust, and you got to walk that thing out. You know you do. And say it with me, you have to don't stop. You got to get it, get it. And what you have to get, you got to get your purpose and get your purpose now. You know, this is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. See you next time. Bye-bye. The Ram Summer Clearance Event is here, and it's time to get to work. And working hard will build you a reputation, something that the all-new 2019 Ram 1500 prides itself on, too. You'll see it for yourself with the largest available touchscreen in its class. Hurry into the Ram Summer Clearance Event for a great deal and get up to six months of Apple Music on us. Class-based on light-duty pickups. Visit www.ramtrucks.com slash Apple for details. Apple is a registered trademark of Apple Inc. Apple is not a sponsor of this promotion. Ram is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC. What if a nursing college cared for its students the same way nurses cared for their patients? What if the focus was on keeping students in, not weeding them out? What would happen? Something extraordinary. Join us, and together we can make a difference. Chamberlain University College of Nursing. Extraordinary care, extraordinary nurses. Attend an open house at Chamberlain's Jacksonville campus, Tuesday, August 7th, anytime between 3.30 and 5.30 p.m. Register now at chamberlain.edu.